um what's up jones bones it is your girl united lee random and honestly uh yesterday i toughed a rug it's so far away but it might look better that far away and like i was also given another rug as like a gift um but anyway if you want to see uh, what i did for my birthday i did a video yesterday however today is talking about something i learned on my birthday now on my birthday i was a little bit like not even gonna lie i was a little bit frustrated because i was with someone who i wasn't really sure where we stood it was like my birthday her and the girl that i was with um they had a lot of inside jokes that i didn't know anything about and so i was just kind of a little uncomfortable but i feel like i whenever i would really be like hey you know i i even spoke about it i was like you got way too many inside jokes that i don't know about and it's my birthday you know because when when like i just saying from my point of view and i don't know if it makes me seem like a little bit of a bitch but like when you invite people who are friends to your birthday and i invited a whole bunch of people but it's like to your birthday it just felt like oh yeah like even though we're together on my birthday i still feel alone if you guys have a lot of inside jokes i know nothing about right i'm here like i want to be a part of the conversation right so there was a part of me that felt kind of like oh this kind of sucks but what made it better is the girl paid for my dinner so you know what fucking not sucky she paid for everything i got my ears cleaned yesterday like let's go down the line first i went and tuffed a rug after that i made a little garland thing now this little garland thing is going to be up in the back of my videos later on see whenever i did something or made something i wanted it to later on be something that i could put in the back of my videos for you know unitedly random so um it'll be there later on but another thing that i did is tough a rug make the little garland thing and then i wanted to go somewhere now my thing was always either go to an aquarium or go to a museum i want to take pretty pictures and feel like a pretty pretty princess we ended up going to an uh, art museum okay and i found out there's a lot more art museums when i talk about art museums i'm talking about like the interactive colors like really bright and vibrant i'm not talking about like an art history museum you feel me so we went to an art museum called like the unicorn that was fun um i think the girls were still like at that point we got our ears done and the girls were kind of together and i was kind of standoffish okay they were taking pictures inside of the room and i just kind of wasn't there like you know i wasn't there for the pictures or anything like that i think it's because like usually whenever the girl um one of the girls that i went with uh, whenever she takes pictures of me they're always really fucking blurry and like they have an iPhone. So, like, if every time you take pictures of me, they're really blurry, it feels like you don't want to take the pictures of me. You know what I mean? And I'm not like, that voice crack was not because I'm super upset. It's because I slept in contacts. Give me a moment. Don't sleep in contacts. You might lose your eyeballs. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, that's so much better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the thing is, I don't know where I was. The girl, okay. Tuffing, making a garland. After that, going and getting my ears professionally clean for an hour. Like this woman was in my ears, digging around, giving me a massage inside of my inner ear very interesting i can show you the tools that she gave us but they're somewhere else so i'm not going to i'll show you another time if you want to see the tools they sent us home with a set of tools it was a very interesting experience it, i'm an ear digger for those who don't know i have a video where i was talking about my my addiction uh like gave me an issue and stuff like that it was digging in my ear i had a whole ear infection like a whole ass ear infection so uh 10 out of 10 would not recommend digging in your ear however so back to the girls i really wasn't sure where i stood with the girls 
and you know my youtube channel is kind of like me a way for me to vent and stuff like that so this is why i'm telling you guys this no drama just telling you guys this because by the end of the night i got down to like the meat and potatoes i was being very like open honest like okay well i felt like you guys didn't really i wasn't like i felt like you guys didn't like me i don't it was like i could tell something was off and it felt uncomfortable and stuff like that and i was like why and she was like, well, I really don't like the way that you, like, express your sexuality. And that, that stumped me because I was like, what? Like, because when someone said express your sexuality, she, I was like, is it because I'm bi? But I was like, no, like, aren't you not straight? So I was really confused. And it came down to, um, I told you guys about a situation where I was out with some girls. And the guy kind of walked by me and kind of, like, smacked me on my butt. Um, I didn't tell you about it in detail, but I guess I can tell you guys about it in detail one day. Um, and I, like, it was that situation in which the way that I expressed my sexuality is I didn't immediately get, like, fighting mad. She was like, mm, no, like, you're, when you're in these situations, you're not immediately, like, pissed off. And for me, I think because I've been in these situations so many times, and especially in that situation, I didn't really feel him, like, touch my butt, or I wasn't conscious of it, like, while it was happening. I was being told that it was happening. Like, I've had people aggressively do things to me, like, legit, legit. So I think that I kind of, like, kind of, like, waved it off. I was like, okay, that happened, but let's have a good uh, day, like... And that type of thing for them is something that will like really pee them off and like ruin a day for them, right? And I can completely understand that. Like, not like, oh yeah, you don't wanna like hang out with me because of how. Okay, so I had this girl on the charger for the entire time and she's still da 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 all I wanted to say is the girl didn't like me because the way I react to certain situations. She said that that was a part of my sexuality. And then she also didn't really, not even she didn't like me. She just didn't want to like spend time with me or be around me because. Hi. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. The camera keeps dying. And so she's on the charger right now. And I'm getting ready to go work out at the gym. So all I was saying is there was an issue with the girl about how I expressed my sexuality. How does that come across? Well, if someone does something towards me, I don't immediately get angry. Um, there's also an issue where she doesn't like being compared to me. Um, we are both big plus size black women um, from America. For me, all of those things just seem like excuses, especially because I had just met her like only one time, like really just me and her and it was with someone else. I'm like, who's comparing us? Like, you know what I mean? I understand not liking to be compared. I've been compared to Peaches before when all of my hair was cut off. But still, it's just like, I don't know. I thought that that's one thing I can say. Because, like, living overseas, you might think that, oh, like, we're black, black people are going to stick together. No, we fall apart so easily. And sometimes it's over simply not getting angry. Like, you might have thought someone should have gotten angry. Or it's simply because we're being compared. I understand not wanting to be compared, but it just kind of sucks. Because... I don't know, I wanted a friendship when I first got here. And I mean way back when I first got here, I wanted a friendship. I wanted people to like kind of rely on and I wasn't able to find that with her. Um, she's okay, you know, like I'm, I don't have any ill will towards her, but like to hear the reasonings reminded me like right before I left out, it said something along the lines of the issues, not you. The issues are not you right everyone has their own issue and it's not the first time that an issue has come up with a friend or someone that like I was friendly with where they don't want to be compared to me and stuff like that like this is always something that has kind of come up I guess the problem with me is I don't really feel 
the comparison because I feel like we're completely different people. But you know, overseas where it's not a lot of black people, um, we could seem similar because we're black, but that's about it. We're very different as people. We're just tall black women. Um, and in that case, it's just like, so you just don't hang out with like other tall black women. Like, uh, it's, you know what I mean? So I don't know if people in this program will ever see my, uh, online persona or see my online channel, but if they do, like, again, no hard feelings, but like, it just kind of sucks, right? Like, does that not sound like it sucks? Like, it would suck more if I found out about this in the past, but I kind of moved on from being like, like, oh yeah, being friendly and da da da. I just kind of started minding my own business. I realized when I'm interacting with people, I get in a lot of issues and situations that I don't necessarily want to be in. Um, but it did bring up an idea that I thought to share. Like, I could do a whole video about this, but off the rip, there's certain things about being an overseas expat that will get to you. And if being stared at or people taking pictures of you is something that's going to get to you, I would suggest don't go overseas. Like, wholeheartedly. It's one of those things where I've lived in Korea for a year, I'm living in another country right now, and it's similar. I would say that Korea is better because... Um, certain things i'll talk about that a little bit later but korea is better because of certain things however it just comes with the territory at some instances and also i found out some tea about like the company that i'm in some of the tea including that they didn't want to hire any more black people and i know that i saw the email where they were like oh yeah we're not hiring anyone else from south africa because we have a lot of people from south africa but i also heard um, through the grapevine that they're deliberately saying that we don't want any more black teachers. And the school that I specifically teach at, at one point boasted that they didn't have any um, black teachers at their school. And that is how they got their clients. Luckily, at my school, I don't feel any of like the hey, I don't feel any of the, you know what I mean? But there are certain things that I've picked up on, um, specifically when we got a new co-teacher who happens to be palm color. I did pick up on certain things, but overall, that's just what's going on. Um, I'm feeling good. Like I finally got some answers and I understand things. And I was also able to just openly state my position, which, you know, I didn't know I was gonna do it. I didn't plan on doing it, but I was just like, yeah, uh, this is how I feel. And like when the girl said something, she kind of said something and then like she brushed it off and I was just like, no, I want to understand that. And it wasn't like, bitch, I'm about to fight. You know, it was like, like when she said something about my sexuality, I was like, what? And she explained it in a way that I'm still, I still have to process. Um, off the rip, I do think that it really does suck, but I can understand her point of view. It's just, it's not my point of view. But, um, and this is not about, like, sexuality. This is just about, you know, not wanting to be around me because we, like, we're both black, tall women and we get compared. And then also, uh, how I express my sexuality, not wanting that to be seen as how she would express her sexuality. But then, then again, if I were to, like, I could say the same for her. But I'm not because that's not me. But it's just like the way that you express yourself sexually could give people a certain impression of me, especially as a black woman in this country. If you say that all black women are compared and we're all the same when we're on the dating apps together and you're you're interacting a certain way with people on dating apps and then they start to interact with me, can they not be influenced by how they've interacted with you at first too? You know what I mean? So, I just like to think that, you know, I'm my own person. I'm very independent. Not even very independent, but I'm just my own person. So, there's like, you can't really compare me too much. But, um, again, the sexuality topic. Ooh, my food is here. Give me a second. I'll be back. I'm coming. Burger King, y'all. 
I got some Burger King. But like the topic of sexuality, I need to eat really quick because I'm supposed to be going working out soon. But the topic of sexuality, I gotta steal it. I gotta steal it. Um, it comes down to like trauma responses and everything is a part of sexuality. I need to do some research on that because you know that's not something I really really thought of like. My trauma responses and everything have something to do with my sexuality. Because when I heard sexuality, I was thinking, how gay I am. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Damn, I was hungry. Anyway. <laughs> That is all. Hopefully I can piece this together and make it make sense some type of way. But I'm gonna eat my food, watch some YouTube videos, get dressed and go to the gym. Bye bye. This damn camera kept dying.